<laughs> Hello and welcome to Uncoined. My name is Michelle. If you haven't hit that like sign yet, please consider doing so. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, this would be a great way to support these videos. So hit that subscribe button. I recently joined the IOTA community on Discord and joined the X Simplify team. These X teams, these experienced teams that IOTA has created are great for community members to get involved and help IOTA grow and improve their services, technologies, whatever. So consider joining one of these X teams in the area of your specialty and let's make IOTA great together. Today's topic of discussion is green and sustainable technologies, um, sustainability in general, and whether or not IOTA fits into this space and can be considered a green technology. First question, can we consider IOTA to be green? Well, let me back up a bit and talk about blockchain-based currencies, which IOTA is not. So currently, blockchain-based currencies are using as much energy as many small countries. And while the claim is made that Bitcoin and altcoins like Bitcoin um, consume less than 10% of the energy required for the traditional banking system, um, However, as the crypto space continues to grow, this number, this percentage, will substantially increase. And wouldn't it be nice if we could be even more energy efficient than the traditional banking system? Second point, mining uses energy. Whether this is renewable energy or not, the energy usage is there. And yes, you can move mining facilities to places where renewable energy farms overproduce electricity. But the question remains, how sustainable is that? We want the crypto space to grow. So eventually mining will become unsustainable, no matter what additional excuses we find to justify it. Besides, what's the point in mining when you can get the same result or an even better result without it? IOTA's answer is that they don't, the technology does not use a blockchain. It uses the Tangle. And that's a completely different concept and a completely different technology. The main point is there's no miners and no fees, and thus it's much more sustainable. Um, in fact, with the Chrysalis update, transaction sizes have decreased. Um, Reusable addresses have become available, as well as major efficiency improvements are currently benchmarking at least an extra 60% decrease in energy usage. If you haven't clicked that like button yet, now would be a good time to do so. And also don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel. The last segment of this video, the use cases. How is IOTA actually involved? So the first thing is Climate Check and IOTA. Um, climate Check is a premier service provider and innovator for climate change, clean tech, and sustainability, and they've launched their products since 2007. Um, IOTA col started collaborating with them in 2020, and the IOTA technology is being used to digitize measurement, reporting, and verification of sustainability performance. And this is known as digital MRV. And both of these partners are supporting Chile's, the country of Chile's, pilot project demonstrating state-of-the-art methods to track emission reductions in real time. Um, the second sort of project that IOTA is involved in is with Climate KIC, and that's Europe's largest innovation initiative on climate innovation, and that's funded by the European Union. And the idea here is to create long-term, and they emphasize this, long-term sustainable technology solutions. Um, next, we have um, a project that IOTA is involved in up in Norway, 
and that's within a cons consortium within Norway's dairy industry. And here IOTA is being used to improve transparency and, efficient and efficiency in milk production and to help reduce methane emissions. And finally, this is something that has made the rounds in Twitter in the last week, is Deposi. And this company uses the IOTA technology to take recycling to a new level. And with the help of the IOTA-based deposit system, this technology wants to make sure all plastic waste is sorted according to its composition and then returned to the industry for recycling. If I wasn't able to convince you before, I hope these use cases have provided some practical information as to how IOTA is engaged in climate activism. And there are many, many more environmental use cases where IOTA is involved, and these span from anything from transportation to sustainable cities to supply chain management and even waste management. So you can see IOTA is really doing its part, and it is a green coin. Thank you for joining me today on Uncoined. Consider supporting the channel by clicking that like button, subscribing to the channel, or sharing this video in other communities. Also, consider joining one of the X-Teams on the Discord channel. I'll see you next time.